Hello, my name is James Richards, and I will be presenting on the famous whistleblower, Harry Markopoulos. I will be doing this for Dr. Christensen's Accounting 6650 Accounting Ethics Seminar course at Southern Utah University. As a brief outline for today's activities, I will begin by reviewing the case, after which I will present the seven steps of whistleblowing from the Trevino-Nelson text. Following that, I will examine each of these steps in context with this case and scenario after which I will wrap up and offer a conclusion. As a brief review, Harry Markopoulos moved to Boston in 1991 to join Rampart Investment Management. Harry's manager and other colleagues tasked him with discovering what Bernie Madoff was doing to be so successful in trading options. Somehow, Bernie always made a profit, regardless of whether the market was up or down. To Harry, as a mathematician, this was a big red flag. Harry pursued this investigation for nearly a decade, bringing about many changes to his personal and professional life. Um, the SEC would not listen to Harry at first, but finally he gained traction and is now known as a very successful and prominent whistleblower. From the Trevino Nelson text, we learn these seven steps of whistleblowing. They are first, to approach your immediate manager. Second, discuss the issue with your family. Third, take it to the next level. Fourth, contact your company's ethics officer or ombudsman. Fifth, consider going outside your chain of command. And sixth, go outside the company. Finally, the seventh and conclusive step of whistleblowing is to leave the company if the situation and scenario necess necessitates it. Now this situation with Harry Markopoulos is a little bit different than a typical scenario. This is different because Harry did not actually work for Bernie Madoff, the company that he suspected of fraud. So these steps have been adapted a little bit to fit and match Harry's experience. The first step is to approach your immediate manager. Harry was given a task by his manager and encouraged by his colleagues to see how Bernie Madoff was so successful, ultimately in hopes of duplicating the success. However, as Harry began to investigate this, several red steps, red flags came up. The second step is to discuss this issue with your family. Harry would have undoubtedly discussed this issue with his family. His investigation brought about numerous changes that would affect his family, including a new company, a new career, and a lot of media attention as time would go on. The third step is to take it to the next level. Harry took the problem to the SEC or the Securities and Exchange Commission. There he received some encouragement, but ultimately um, he was unable to get success and help from the SEC for many years to come. The fourth step is to contact your company's ethics officer or ombudsman. Harry was so intrigued that he started his own company to examine financial fraud. He worked on many cases since this. The fifth is to consider going outside your chain of command. Harry continued to contact people at the SEC in hopes of getting some traction and a listening ear. He even contacted the new director of risk assessment. The sixth step is to go outside the company. The SEC would listen to Harry. He then went to local media to get attention. Unfortunately, they were unwilling to present his story and to help too. The seventh step is to leave his company. In a different context, Harry ultimately did this when he started his own financial fraud investigation company. As a conclusion, in this case, Harry Markopoulos was in an interesting situation. He didn't even work for the company he suspected and then began investigating for fraud. He had huge challenges to overcome in gathering information and even more so in getting someone to listen to him. His personal crusade to stop his fraud caused him to start his own successful financial fraud investigation company. This crusade took over 10 years. Because of his perseverance, Harry is now known as a whistleblowing legend and a great example of what to do in pursuing the ethical and right option at all times. Thank you very much for your time.